Okay, what we have here is a box from Adafruit. And um, inside it is a quote from Carl Sagan to begin with. Every kid starts out as a natural born scientist and then we beat it out of them. So sad but true. And what is in our box but an Ada box? Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Gorgeous. And we have ah, some Halloween stickers, amongst other things. Sticker sheet number one. We'll take a look at that later. Um, we have Lady Ada on the cover of S'more, which is a science magazine for kids. Um, and wow. That's a nice deal. Huh. Looks like it's mostly women that are making it too. Very cool. So anyways, what is in the Ada box this month, or this quarter? Um, well, looks like some Halloween stuff, I'm guessing. So let's open her up and see what we get. Beautiful packaging. Absolutely gorgeous. And okay. A lanyard. Maybe you can make some blinky lights so that your costume doesn't. Uh, so you've got big blinky lights on your costume. Ooh, some nice beefy LEDs and some LED holders and some jumper wires and a potentiometer. Okay. That looks like a little speaker that might be adhesive around here. Um, they're in New York, so cockroaches. Uh, this must be a lipo. Yes, indeed. A small 400 milliamp hour lipo. Um, a servo. Uh, what's, what's this? Huh, some sort of a lens. I wonder. Some wires. A, huh, that must be a bezel. Yeah, it must be a bezel for that. And what is this? Oh, a Halloween! <laughs> you know, I was going to order me some of these for Halloween. Because <laughs> what this is, it's basically a feather, an Adafruit feather, but it's got a display and some various things on the back, like um, a switch, on-off switch, Halloween, an LED, um, RGB LED, or a, um, whatchamacallit, a, a NeoPixel, a couple of jacks for, well, one's for a battery. And one is, oh look, I squared C. It's got I squared C broken out. It's also got these pins, pinouts that you can just plug into. Uh, wait, maybe that's a sensor breakout because that's the battery right there. Um, I think that's a light sensor. And then we have a little potentiometer for some reason. Oh, and a speaker. Yeah. So the speaker can plug into it. So yeah, these, um, so that's an 80 mega. What is that? It's, is it an STM32? Let me just, I don't think it is. No, it's a Sandy 21. Um, like the rest of the Halloween stuff. Uh, so, or like the rest of the uh, feather ecosystem. So, uh, so yeah. And it's got a, I think that is a color TFT. And what's this? But this is a IR sensor, I think. And then I'm guessing that this is a string of NeoPixels. And indeed it is. It's NeoPixels high density with um, the, uh, with the silicone cover on them. So, yeah, you could add that to a cape in order to 
make it blinky or whatever. But uh, that's a nice little box of goodies, considering that they uh, they only ask a mere sixty dollars every quarter, and they'll send you a box like this because these guys I think are are thirty seven retail. So um, include a battery and some NeoPixels and a sensor and some breakouts and this and this uh, lens. That's an excellent, excellent deal. Anyways, um, let's power this puppy up and see what it will do. Okay, powering on. Did you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Can you see that there? It's got the uh, animated eyeball. Uh, that's why I needed two of these. So you could have two. Hmm. I believe these are touch sensitive, um, uh, touch sensitive breakouts as well. Capacitive touch sense. So what happens when we put the lens over it? How does that look? Oh, it's good. You can then see it from the side a bit and it magnifies it nicely. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's going to make a great pumpkin for sure. 100%. So, uh, yeah. And so JST three pin, three pin high density to female. And then JST three pin to male. So you can probably use that to connect this sensor up, but I believe it also has a light sensor on here somewhere. Yeah, there's probably a light sensor back there. Um, and you can turn it on and off with this switch. Yep, that's its reboot. So yeah, uh, I can think of many things to do with this little baby. Now, let's first of all start by charging up these battery. That's a two pin. I have a bunch of these guys that I collected from my dumpster diving. And these are much larger milliamp hour, but uh, let's just see what that does. Uh, yeah, two pin. Is it the same connector? Yeah, look at that. And registration goes there. Yeah, look at that. Still runs when it's not plugged in. Whoa! So that'll just sit nicely inside of the uh, inside of the uh, pumpkin. Very good. Now I believe that these you can plug in um, uh, feather wings. I think they call them, and they're uh, add-on modules for the uh, feather ecosystem. So um, that's what these connectors are for. And then X, Y, and Z. So that must mean that there's an accelerometer on here too. Um, I'm guessing um, either that or magnetometer or both uh, XYZ I don't know if you can see that right there but there's an XYZ designation that I believe is the spy flash um, and up in this corner here there is a pot which I'm betting will adjust the um, sensitivity of that um, light sensor and I I'm not mistaken. They, yeah, they um, actually have the PCB drilled out, and they've got this um, photo diode mounted upside down so that it's sensing the brightness from the front. So you can use that as a way of adjusting the brightness on the feather wake. Um, yeah, so that will be fun as heck to play with. I am 
No doubt. <laughs> Gonna make this part of the Halloween pumpkin. Alrighty. Well, um, that's that for now, I think. And um, I'm not exactly sure what to do with these things. Although they do have some nice um, bushings, so you might be able to, you know, use that as a way of mounting them in the pumpkin. Or uh, enclosed. So, yeah. Um, so anyways, yeah, Featherwing. Um, programmable, I think these are a MicroPython um, style um, uh, programming, um, but you can also program program them uh, normally because they are just a SAMD21, so it's got, I'm pretty sure they break out the uh, TX and RX. Yeah, there's, there's that there, and then you can program it. So, yeah, very good. Very good. Love it. Eat a fruit. You guys are awesome. <laughs> so, uh, when I uh, when I do more of the build, including maybe better eyeballs this time, better random shaky eyeballs, then uh, we'll post another video. But um, that will definitely form part of a Halloween pumpkin build. Anyways, um, you don't have much time, but you can still order some of these in time for Halloween. I recommend them.